Now, you can tell folks who don't really care about the Bible because they don't understand the life lessons there. Assholes think it's just history because they're insane. <laughs> but there's life lessons, like with David and Nathan, where when Nathan rebukes David, that teaches people that you do not be an asshole with authority. Like, if you're the king, that doesn't mean shit because anything in the world doesn't mean shit. But David and Nathan are brothers, heavenly, so that's going to override that. Where if David was a soulless fuck like King Saul, he would try to hurt Nathan for telling him something he didn't want to hear. <laughs> but since David is a good person, he listens because he's not abusing power like something that's a soulless NPC where they're just trying to be like a dog peeing on a tree and thinking it owns it. <laughs> David was king after he didn't want to be king, which at that point is something that you can judge if someone is a person, if they think that someone would just want to be king. When the Bible contradicts that, it proves that they don't read the Bible and they're trying to say things about the Bible without even reading it because they're just a dumb animal who cares about dominance and you can give up on them instantly instead of wasting time until they go fuck you up <laughs> so it's going to mean to an absolute level that's not a person if they're that stupid like if they think David would want to be king when David spent the whole time running away and trying to and trying to put some sense into King Saul that he wasn't trying to take his crown and King Saul being an imitating soulless fuck was not able to understand that. It, he couldn't break through ego and just believe the lies in his head that someone would be just like him and projecting that David would want to stab him in the back when that wasn't true. <laughs> so someone who would try to say that they understand about King David or anything and would think that he would want to be king is someone stupid. It's also someone who is guaranteed not to understand what happened with Uriah. Where it's not in the Bible, but David wanted to end the future corruption from, from bloodline secession. And have a baby with a woman and just make them king instead of making his son king, even though it was his son. <laughs> but at the same time, it was a mistake by trying to do it on his time. Instead of just letting Solomon be born at the correct time, on God's time. So the baby was just a birth reject that died. But none of that matters, because even though David had good motives and he understood and had a purpose where Uriah wouldn't listen because he was evil and just wanted to look right, like a snake in the grass, he wanted to look right and wouldn't even listen to who's commissioning a war. Yeah. <laughs> just so he can look right and get a pat on the head for, or get a bone like a dog. Which is snakish evil that lies under the grass. That's why religion says the grass is going to be cut or darkness is going to be brought to light. That's darkness because it's trying to look right just so they won't get in trouble. And that's evil. <laughs> so it's not evil for David to send Uriah on the front line because he wanted to be a super soldier <laughs> so he should go on the front line but God is testing which isn't a bad thing so as fucks also think testing is a bad thing God is testing if David is weak for women so he spoke through Nathan just a townsperson where if David was soulless he would just kill Nathan because he wouldn't want to hear that <laughs> That's how you could tell someone isn't a person, too. That's why this is in the Bible. So, David proves he's a person. He also proves he's a person because he doesn't care about being tested. Because that's material shit. Who cares about having sex with ladies? Where he's tested to where, I guess, a soulless guy to a mindless fuckboy. That's the worst thing ever. Where any woman that you're with is going to be a whore and is going to try to break your heart. Where David is cursed with that. But there's no magic, so that's not going to happen when he's king, because idiots are going to be afraid that they're going to lose their life if they cross the king. <laughs> it's going to happen in situations like a situation like Matthew, where he's having sex with Mary Magdalene and sharing, it, sharing her with other apostles and give her to Jesus after Jesus get off the cross. <laughs> or Governor Morris, where he don't marry, he just have he just have loose sex. 
He's even punished in a subset where he loses his leg after you have sex with someone's wife and then runs away from him in a cart and just runs, runs into him and he loses his leg, which is just God. Just continuing that test, but that's no problem if you're a person because you can take consequences for your actions. <laughs> in subsequent situations, because in that situation where David is king, there's no way that would happen. But that's also a flaw that you can judge someone with the Bible. Where they're thinking that everything is one life. Like if they marry someone, they're not thinking in a multi, multi life situation that's really happening, like with reincarnation. <laughs> so it's crazy. That's why real people can be like monks or priests, even though assholes copycat that. Like if someone's a monk, they don't care about finding a wife. In a situation where there's not mass media and shit like the internet, and you're only living in maybe a hundred mile radius at war, at, at best. Like going a hundred miles is like going to fucking Spain or overseas for a vacation. <laughs> then chances are you're not ever going to find anyone. So someone who's a monk or a priest, they don't care about that shit. Because <laughs> it's not that important. That's only something that's important to those who are into animal nature and animal mating rituals. We're... Animal mating rituals are evil because the male animal always assaults the female, like bite them on the neck and then just take them, or like club, like caveman clubbing a woman on the head, or the insect woman, the insect female eating a male female. That's stuff that's from animal nature. That's not stuff that's like the universe where everything flows, like plants getting oxygen and then giving, I mean, giving back oxygen and getting food from just the rays of the sun because <laughs> they're one with the universe everything real flows together shit corrupted by satan and created by satan like the animal divergence where it's just empty life that serves itself in a tax environment that is stuff that designates evil and in this human situation it's very easy to see it's very easy to see because of their intelligence. I'm going to end this.